to, to say it in a way that, the way Jesus said it, what is sin? It, it's, it's a failure to love. You don't seem convinced, and that, that's okay. That's why I'm here. That's why I have a sermon. Well, what did Jesus, what did Jesus tell us in Matthew chapter 22? He, he says that, what are the greatest commandments? It's to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. And the second is like it, to love your neighbor as yourself. So, so what is anger and what is pride and what is lust and what is, what is all of that? I think it, it's a failure to love, a failure to love God, a failure to, to see him as great and as wonderful and powerful as he is. And what is all of the nonsense and the evil and the corruption we see in our world? It's a failure to love one another. I think so many of us, we need this shift in our mind that when, that when God asks you to give something up, drop it so you can run towards me faster. Drop that. You've been shackled to it for decades. What is all of that? To say no to God and to say yes to sin, I think it's to say no to his love and to fail to love others like he's called us to. So I think, I hope in all of this that you can leave like, what made Jesus mad? Oh, well, you know now, it was, it was when anyone got in the way of God's love. So then I would say, then don't you dare let sin get in the way of God's love for you. Don't you dare let anything, be it pride or bitterness or wrath or the list. I mean, we, we've talked, it's what we talk about, right? That, that sin is is a failure to love someone else and to love God. And so in that, you're taking away from the love that God wants to show in your life. In this great, beautiful, I mean, like, what a, what a gift this life is. And then it gets even better. You could tell I've preached my voice out, which is like the ultimate gold star for a preacher. How'd you lose your voice? I'll talk about Jesus. You know, like, it's so great. That's okay. That so I think so many of us, because we're so messed up and we're so broken and we're so bruised, like, like in the time away, in the time when we're not working, like we use TV shows and addictions and you know, the, this, the Central Coast is the, the, the land of dispensaries and wineries. It's so funny, you know, like, like in so many of us, like we use so many things to distract us from the life that we don't want. Instead of looking to God and say, okay, I'm going to follow you. Let me see the life that I know I've, you've always placed in my heart, the life I really want, not to distract you from the life that I, I have and I'm not happy with. So instead of detracting, when, we, when God begins to tug on your heart, it's like, you know you got to give that up. You know you got to forgive that person. You, 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 you know you got to be, you know I've called you to this. You're just too nervous. You're too afraid. You think somehow my spirit won't be enough for you there. But don't let that feeling, don't let guilt, don't let shame, don't let sin, don't let anything Take away from what God wants to do in your life. Because we know that his spirit and his power and his gospel and the empty tomb is so much more powerful than sin and guilt and shame. Okay? Like Christ didn't die so that you can feel guilty about it for the rest of your life. It's so that you can feel free for the rest of your life because he saved you. Because he rescued you. So why don't you, why don't you stand with me before I have to completely whisper this sermon to a close? I want to pray over us again that this, 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 this promise, this idea would let us really focus in and stop lying to ourselves. Yes, absolutely. But say like, God, I don't want sin to get in the way of this life that you've called me to, to the, your spirit that you've placed in my soul. I don't, want, I don't want sin to get in the way of your love for my family, for my friends, for this community, for this church, for the calling you've placed in my life. I pray that, that all of us, that we would take the holiness of God and we would take sin very seriously. Don't hear me detracting from that. But I hope like the idea of discipleship and repentance, right, to change your mind, like it's a, it's a, it should be an exciting thing. Not a, not a guilt, like, whore, like it should be like, wow, like God's speaking and I'm saying yes and I'm running towards him. He wants to do a miracle in my marriage. Why would you say no to that? He wants to do a miracle in my home. He wants to use me to be his hands and feet in my work, in my community, in my, with my barista, whatever it is. Like, wh how has that become something that, is, that makes us want to detract because of guilt and shame? No, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ. He wants to build. He wants to cultivate. He wants to produce something new in you. Isn't that the greatest news ever? Why do we say no to that? 
So I pray because I know that's what the Holy Spirit does. He would specifically speak to every single one of you and say that one thing that like he wants to produce something maybe today in your life. That thing you've pushed off and pushed snooze on for so long. What are you waiting for? Like you think it's going to end up bad for you to trust in Jesus and to follow him? Again, I promise you it's infinitely more painful and exhausting. Just pretend that you are. I pray that all of us would run towards Jesus and say, Jesus, help me. Forgive me. Make me a new creation. Help me in my life. All of our struggles, all of our doubts, we can lay at his feet. I love that. I, you, you, you forget like mustard seed size faith. It's really, 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 really tiny. It's like, I don't know if I fully understand God, but I'm going to trust you and I know you're going to do something new. So let me pray over us as, as Tim dismisses us with the song. Jesus, I ask for you in the way that you lovingly, gracefully, and powerfully do speak to us directly. Holy Spirit, show us the ways that we've been hiding from you. Show us the ways that kind of the, 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 the fruit that you want to produce in our life has been barren. It's been decaying. It's been inactive. That we've been too comfortable just externally saying like, the people that barely know me think I'm good, so that I'm good. <laughs> Instead of saying, Jesus, what do you want from me? And then saying, Jesus, give me the power and the strength to obey you and trust you. May you do a new work in us, create something new in us. We would say no to sin and yes to you, God. To follow you, to do the will of our Father in heaven. I know we, we can only do that by your power, Holy Spirit, so I ask you to come and to move and to speak and to empower your people today like, I, like you promised you would. In your name, Jesus, I pray. Amen.